Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I feel like I never do like a nice welcome opening in my vlogs because I just assume whoever's clicking on my vlogs have been here for the long haul and I forget that some of you might be new here. So if you are new, welcome. Today's video is going to be a vlog, clearly. And in today's video, I'm going to be tackling some spring cleaning to-dos and chores that I have. I have a nice long running list and I think today I'm going to focus on two of the larger spring cleaning to-dos. I actually tackled like the largest one this past weekend and didn't vlog it. I went through and organized all my cabinets in my kitchen. But for today's video, I'm going to be tackling two other spring cleaning chores and to-dos. I really wanna get a few things done around the house before school lets out in a few weeks. Since the boys are not doing camp this summer and we're going to spend a lot of time at home. I do want to spend a lot of time out and about this summer, but I know that I'll have the boys home more than I did last summer. So I just want my house to be in order leading up to school getting out. So I have a bunch of spring cleaning things and to do's on a nice long running list. And today I'm going to tackle the boys room. I need to go through and organize all their clothes. I want to pull out everything from this past winter and just whatever doesn't fit them anymore. And then rotate in what I have set aside for this upcoming spring slash more into the summer. I have a lot of shorts and warmer clothes in the spare closet in the playroom that we have up here that I want to rotate into their closet in here. And then I also need to give their room a good vacuuming, which we'll get into that in a second. And then the second thing that I want to get done today is organize and go through our like coat closet slash hall closet on our main level downstairs. That has not been touched since we moved in and I've just continued to throw things in there and it is quite cluttered and quite a mess. So those are the two things I want to do today. But before we jump into today's video, while we're on the topic of cleaning, I did get in a new cleaning gadget. And if you're a mom, even if you're not a mom, you just love cleaning, new, whoa, new gadgets are like the best thing you can get. And I recently got in a new cordless vacuum from Green Notes that I want to share with you guys today. I actually went ahead and opened this yesterday. So I'm going to insert the footage of me opening this and kind of give you guys more information on the brand and the product in general and show you guys how it came, how it packaged, the um, assembly process. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that footage really quickly in a minute, but I did wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by Green Note. And I believe I have some sort of link or coupon code that I can list in the description box down below for you guys to get some money off of your order and I will also leave other information about the brand down below so thank you to Green Note for sponsoring today's video let me go ahead and insert all of that footage that I got yesterday of me opening this and you guys will hear more about this exact product and then once I jump back on I will give you guys my thoughts on the product so far I did go ahead and use it super quickly yesterday after we assembled it and for a few spot cleaning things yesterday but I want to put it to the true test today. I actually did not vacuum the boys' room this past weekend. So there's a lot of fuzz and crumbs and a few little pieces of debris in their room. So we're going to give this like the full test and see how it works on the boys' carpet in here. So let me enter that footage and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's my Green Note Cordless GSC50 vacuum. You can see here is some information that comes on the side of the box regarding this model. Once I open the box, you can see everything is nicely packaged and very contained. It comes with this great pamphlet that gives you guys all the information that you need to know on assembly and just like safety features and things to note about the vacuum. So some of the notable features of this vacuum are that it is lightweight and easy to use. The net weight is less than three pounds. I believe it's like 2.6 pounds. So very easy to maneuver around your home and carry from room to room. The vacuum is also extremely easy to not only assemble, but also clean out when you're done vacuuming. I actually show you guys the process of cleaning out the debris in a later clip. But the vacuum also has powerful suctions and it's great for apartment living. There are two different modes you can use this vacuum on. There's a standard mode that lasts for about 35 minutes at a time with a single full charge. And then there's also a max mode that is stronger and lasts about 18 minutes when it's fully charged and you're leaving it running the entire time. The 35 minute standard mode can clean about 160 square feet in a single charge whereas that high speed power mode can clean about 100 square feet in a single charge 
The vacuum is also extremely quiet. I believe running it on standard mode, it's about 65 decibels or less, which is pretty quiet. So if you are living in an apartment or if there are other people around, it's not a noisy, annoying vacuum to be using. Another cool feature is this self-stand feature where if you just click it standing up, it'll be able to stand by itself on any hardwood or hard surface. The vacuum also comes with an LED motorized floor brush head as well as a light that helps you see the debris that you're going to clean up which I like for picking up crumbs and being able to see those crumbs on the floor. There's also a 180 degree swivel sideways and a 90 degree swivel up and down. I also wanted to note that it comes with various different heads allowing you to easily clean cars or camping tents, any kind of small crevice. And you can also obviously take it on the go because it is cordless. And it does come with a washable filter that easily filters 99.98% .98 of dust, bacteria, pollen, and dander from the air and any surface that you vacuum. One last note, there is a two year warranty on the product. Okay, so now that you guys heard more about this cordless vacuum and saw the whole setup process, which the assembly process was extremely easy and I'm so glad that it comes with other attachments and heads because I do like to use different attachments for different things. Like this weekend coming up, another thing on my to-do list for spring cleaning is vacuuming out my couch because that's been neglected and I'm so excited to use this vacuum and the attachments that came with it for that. Um, but so far, setup process was so easy. The few times that I did use it yesterday, I loved it. It's so lightweight and easy to move around. Our main vacuum is a Dyson and it's a huge like plug-in one. Um, and it's pretty bulky and kind of annoying to carry upstairs. Yesterday, Harris actually took this from me and did our room. And he's like, I could do this all day. This is so fun and so nice and smooth and light and easy to use. So, so far, for what I used for like the little bit that I did use it yesterday, I'm obsessed with this cordless vacuum from Green Note. But I'll give you guys more final thoughts later after we give it the true test in the boys' room. But now that I rambled for God knows how long, I'm going to start with my first to do, which is going to be the boys' room. I think this is gonna be the first thing I tackle today. Okay, quick little overview before I jump in. I want to go ahead and go through this main drawer here. I have some long sleeve shirts that no longer fit the boys and need to be rotated out. And then I just wanna go through their short sleeve shirts as well. I also think I'm going to throw their laundry in this morning. I do need to go downstairs and see if one of the bins I have that I like set aside their clothes in, if any of them have room for this stuff. I can't remember when I bought the last bin. So I need to see if I have a bin to put whatever I decide to take out in. If I don't, I'll just throw it in a bag and set it aside. I do need to run to Target this weekend so that I will throw on my list. But while I'm down there checking for a bin, I figured I would throw the boys laundry in since this is getting pretty full. And then for the closet here, I have all this space up here. I want to move all these hangers, put in everything for this upcoming summer that is in the spare closet in the playroom over there and have that all set aside in here, ready to go for summer. I need to go through sweatpants like these jeans are like 18 to 24 months, I think. So clearly don't fit the boys anymore. So I need to go through this. Sweatshirts I need to go through. Just go through and organize all of that. I'll show you guys this whole closet over here. I mean, spare closet over here. This is where I set aside everything for summer. So like all of this stuff, I need to rotate into the boys' room. So that is what is on the agenda for cleaning out the boys' room. So let me bring the laundry down, throw this in, and kind of see if I have a bin that will hold whatever I take out. Okay, I was able to find this bin, which was the last one that I bought um, for like the end of the year stuff last year. So I know all this stuff is around two, which is good. Whatever I take out today will fit in here and then this will all be, um, yes, yeah, it says 18 months, 24 months, two years. So um, it'll fall into the category of all this stuff. So I think I'm going to start with taking out I'm out of breath from carrying this up. Um, I'm going to start with taking this drawer out and going through this, and then we'll hit the closet, then we'll rotate the new clothes in, and then we'll vacuum.
keep, keep. These I'll probably keep as like pajama shirts and this is going in here. So time to refill this and then tackle these. to get in everything except these sweatshirts so i'm going to close this up this stuff i'll just throw in a bag for now and put in the closet probably just on the floor until i can get another bin in to house the rest of this stuff um so yeah this i'm gonna close up and put in the hallway get a bag for this and then i'm quickly just going to bring in whatever i want to put from that closet into this closet and take out a bunch of these hangers there's only like trying to think one two three four five six pairs of sweatpants that the boys still fit in that they'll wear through like the spring until the summer um these are all their pullover sweaters that fit now and then a few bathing suits i just threw in the bottom of this bin that will become their shorts bin once summer officially hits so yeah time to do this and then we can really test out the green vacuum and hit the carpet you can see we have a lot of like debris here the boys carpet makes a lot of fluff that like makes its way into the corners and he's like moving the boys bed out and we'll give it like a full full review give it like a real good chance to show me what it's got um so yeah let me do this first and then we'll do that vacuum in all its glory it is seriously so light and easy to maneuver i'm going to quickly make the boys bed so that everything is out of the way because i do need to pull their beds out as you can see we have a lot of fluff back here and under their beds makes a lot of fluff as well i just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like so definitely i would say on the quiet side oh my god look how much fluff it pulled up in three seconds i cleared the canister out from last night 
um, this morning so we can do a test and see how much it actually picks up. So here is a pretty empty, that literally was from three seconds of me turning it on. Um, here's a pretty empty canister. Let's see how much lint it can pick up and how clean this carpet gets. And then I'll sit down and give you guys my final thoughts on the green note. Call this vacuum and I'm out of breath yet again from carrying that pin. Before I move on, I want to give you guys my final thoughts on the Green Note cordless vacuum. Look at how much debris this vacuum picked up in the two minutes that I vacuumed the boys' room. I am shocked that this is how much debris was on their carpet. I feel like normally I would not get up this much. I'm, I'm really shocked. I, as you guys saw, moved the boys' beds. I always vacuum behind there. This was so easy to hold while moving the boys' bed. I also love how slim and sleek it is. I was actually able to vacuum underneath this dresser, which I rarely ever do. One, because it's pretty heavy to move by myself, and two, my Dyson vacuum never fits under there, so sometimes I would take a hand vacuum I have and try and quickly get as deep and far under there as I could. I've never been able to like fully vacuum under there, so a lot of this debris is probably from under there, but I am thoroughly impressed and obsessed with this Green No Cordless Vacuum. It made vacuuming the boys' room so easy. And just, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Look how much it was able to pull out of their carpet. So thank you again. I'm going to say it one more time. Thank you to Green Note for sponsoring a portion of today's video. This vacuum, I believe, is $169 standalone. But I think I have something for you guys to get some money off your order. So if I do, everything will be listed down below in the description box for you guys to read up on, click, and go shop to pick up yourself a cordless vacuum. I'm going to grab this more often than I would my hand vacuum now just for the sheer power of like vacuum for its suction power and how much it's cleaning up so quickly and efficiently. I am so obsessed and thoroughly impressed. So for me, for what I'm saying, as a mom whose kids make frequent messes and there's lots of crumbs and debris around my house and who needs to vacuum probably three to four times a week, I am so obsessed and impressed with this cordless vacuum from Green Up. So again, thank you guys for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Everything you need to know will be listed down below. I'm gonna go plug this baby in. I don't know what the charge time is on it, but it's super easy to just plug in when you're not using it. It stands by itself. So for me, I just plug it in downstairs in my kitchen and leave it charging when I'm not using it so that it always has a charge for when I do need to use it. So I'm gonna go plug this bad boy in and sit and drink my coffee. I don't think I'm going to jump into the coat closet just yet. I definitely want to finish the coffee that I made hours ago now at this point and haven't drank i want to go sit and relax and drink that i still have about an hour until i have to pick the boys up so maybe i will jump into that um but most likely i'll jump into it later once the boys are home and they're down for a nap excuse the baby first on in the background i never turned the tv off this morning but i just wanted to show you guys quickly how i empty this i just unattach this top piece which this is what you can attach the attachments to I believe so this will be so easy to use as a hand vacuum but I just attach it from the main piece here like I said it is self-standing so it just stands there by itself and then from there there's this little button down here look at how much came out of the boys room are you ready for this oh my goodness do you see all this it's, it just keeps coming I don't understand how I didn't even see that much fluff and debris in the boys room I don't understand how this picked all of this up. Look at all this. And there's still more in here. I am so shocked. Okay, it is quite a lot later. I have little Benny up from a nap. 
I actually wound up having to go pick the boys up early from school before because halfway throughout the day at school, their teacher said that Jack was complaining of his ear hurting. And if you guys have been following along with my vlogs, you would know that we've been dealing with ear infections for months now at this point. But we went to the ENT probably two weeks ago now at this point and they were cleared. Their ear infections had all cleared up. At that point, Jack was on antibiotics for 21 days straight. Um, but here we are two weeks later and he was complaining that his ear hurt today. So I went and picked them up early from school, came home and put them down for a nap and they both wound up knocking out and taking a really good nap. And then I sat and waited for a telehealth phone call with their ENT to get him something prescribed because there were no open appointments today. And so I was able to do that telehealth appointment. I got something prescribed with him to hold him over until tomorrow morning when he can be physically seen in office and the ENT can check his ear and see what's going on. But because of that and because I was waiting for that telehealth appointment, <coughs> you alright baby? Both boys seem to be coming down with some sort of cold. Ben's appetite was iffy earlier in the week and now he has this cough and Jack was doing fine until he woke up this morning with just like a little bit of a stuffy nose but at that point none of them had fevers like even now Jack doesn't have a fever and Ben doesn't have a fever but clearly his ears are hurting him based on like what he was telling his teacher and what he's telling me now. Um, but anyway, because I was waiting for that telehealth appointment, I ate some lunch and really lost motivation to do this closet here. So I think I'm going to roll over doing this closet into this weekend. So this weekend's vlog, I'll do more spring cleaning and I'll do this closet and I'll also vacuum the couches. So that's going to be it for today's video. I also changed back into comfy clothes because I was wearing a unitard under my sweatpants. Don't ask me why. And it was getting really annoying to use the bathroom. So I just changed into a sweatshirt with those sweatpants and we've just been hanging out. But Jack is still down for his nap and I'm going to let him sleep for a little bit. I have Ben up now and he's having a snack. But I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me organize the boys' room. I hope you guys enjoyed that review I gave you of the green no cordless vacuum. And I will have everything linked down below, like I said, for you guys to pick up your own if you're in the market for a cordless vacuum. I highly recommend it. It's so much easier than the ones that plug in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the weekend vlog. Bye, guys.